Oh, yeah. See you later. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, slickers, the slickers, commenters, new subscribers, all subscribers, just generally. Anybody who watches these videos, welcome back. Hey, coming! <laughs> so, as you'll probably tell, I feel miserably at doing the whole daily thing, and I'm quite glad it's over because. I was actually surprised at the numbers that were being thrown back at me, but I, I, you have no life if you're trying to churn videos out every day. You really don't. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about... At the weekend, it was the NI Motorcycle Festival. And uh, we all know Robert, or we all know Dunk... And we all know Dunky's thoughts on the NI Motorcycle Festival. But I still go and I still pay the money. So this would be the third year of going to the the, the bike show. And really, every year is a carbon copy of the same stuff. Well, what I said to my girlfriend this year is, some of the smaller businesses two years ago and last year are now holding maybe bigger plots than say the big guys the big dealerships which is great it's good to see the small guys coming through but it's the same thing they put all the big dealers up at the front and then they put every well i say they put everybody into the back but they shoehorn as much into the back as possible and uh i met some of you fabulous people and uh, it was strange, it was... <laughs> right, th this is the situation. I thought, I'll give, the, I'll give the bike show another chance. I took a hundred pounds, a hundred British pounds, to the bike show, and got scalped 24 pound, before I even got in the door. 24 pound for two people. Twelve pound each. Now, I get it; they have to cover costs, but they're charging the people in the trade stands in the show at forty-five pound per square f per square meter. I think it was square meter. So when you get in, you get a little booklet, of course, and it has every advertisement under the sun. So it does, and a little map. And all the big dealers are named. And all the wee ones are sort of directed to. And it's great. But you can literally see everything in 45 minutes. That's insane. This is what le this is. I know a few people have, have always said this to me when I, I, I brought out the, oh, the bike show, blah, 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 boring as, the bike show is boring as hell and all that there. But I can get my why people see it as a a social event and it really is a social event because you pick the narrowest walkway to go down and you're guaranteed to have 10, 10 people in a crowd in a circle talking to each other blocking that walkway and you're the bad person for moving them out of the way it, it is crazy but as I was saying I went with a hundred pound I wanted to buy stuff couldn't find half the stuff. Um, £24 to get in. As I'm not going to take my girlfriend and not pay for her to get in. Um, bought a Armoy road racing t-shirt. Club t-shirt. And I got a free program. Which was sweet. Insert a picture here. And uh, I also went and bought road to racing. Which is an epic photo book. I would class it as a photo book. As I like books with pictures. Because me not so smart. And me reading English is hard. And I got it. And it was 30 quid. 30 quid. 27 pound. 30 quid. And I 
bought the book. I bought a slush puppy at like a pound eighty. Or no, actually, the girlfriend bought a two slushies at like two pound each. It's insane how pricey it is. And you know what? I got one freebie. One freebie. Side note, I do understand it makes me sound like a bit of a, a cheapskate saying I only got one freebie. I had a friend, but I had a friend that went to the bike show in Birmingham and he came home with five bags worth of stuff. And that's not including the stuff he bought. The stuff that was just given to him in the first place. It's insane. And even then, the guy who handed me it didn't look like he wanted to give me it in the first place. <laughs> Rove is crazy. I can really, I do understand why it's a social event because, yeah, what what you can go and see in that show, you can see on the internet and go to your shop and see it in person. There was also uh, the Triumph Moto 2 bike, it was like, oh wow, woohoo, they never started it, they claim to have started it, but the video says they would have been starting it every so often on the Saturday and the Sunday. And we were there for a good four hours, three hours on the Saturday, and never heard anything running. It was, it was just one of those. Oh, I love picking faults and things. I really do, but I love trying to find the positives. And I'm sorry, but there was barely any positives in that show this year. And a lot of people I talked to, and I talked to random ass people most of the time. We're saying I'll give it two years. I'll give it two years till that show has disappeared. It's crazy. And then the video before this is the me sitting on the BMW. That was the only bike I wanted to film. Well, I didn't even. Well, I didn't even know it was being filmed until the girlfriend surprised me and asked me how it was and I told her and I didn't realise she was holding the camera up. And before you all go, oh but you'd win to, you'd win about anything. You're just picky. I, I whinge about things and try and give constructive criticism. But I only found out at the bike show it's run by a travel company. Not travel. Well, I assume it's run by Nut Travel because the guy's some called something Nut. And, like, you, there's nothing that says, hey, tell us what you thought of the show. It's crazy. So, what I'm going to do right now, Mr. Nut, if you're watching this, or Nut Travel, if you come across this, take this as my constructive criticism for your show. So, my criticism would be, or my. My remedy to maybe pick the show up a bit is all the big dealers, all the people who want big spaces, chuck them all to the back, put all the small ones in the front, and there you go. Everybody wouldn't be happy, but you know, you know, tough. I know all the big dealers pay for the premium spots, but if you change the premium spots to the back, all the little small ones, basically flipping the flipping the whole indoor part around would mean that the smaller ones like Tandrick A100, you've got the Armoy races, you've got the Air Ambulance, you've got the Air Jacket, the blow up jacket things all the small traders are at the front they're the first exposure the big guys at the back have warehouses they have dealerships showrooms to them it is just getting their face in someone else's face the one dealer one dealer at the bike show had three flipping spaces just because he carries three different
rides of bikes. It's crazy, it is, it is crazy, and uh, it is one of those things that you can change it around to suit everybody and somebody is not going to be happy. I personally think it's just sad that the small guys are just pushed to the back. They had, uh, was it Matty Griffin doing stunts? They had trials people doing stunts. And the, the entry price, the entry price needs to be lowered. That, that to me is the first thing. Even by three, four quid per person. Because, I mean, like, dealerships, Charleshurst, Charleshurst, for example, we're doing discount tickets. Ten pound a ticket. It, it, it doesn't make no sense why you're charging twelve at the door and ten pound from a dealership. When the people who buy them from the dealership are looking at what the people who have the dealership they have there, it's crazy. But what I would say is it needs to be resolved because a lot of people were asked saying to me, you know, in conversation, no no malice or anything, but people were given that oh I give it two years. I just broke the YouTuber rule, I shouldn't have moved for the cyclist. Why did I do that? Oh yeah, because I'm nice. But if you're from Northern Ireland and you were at the show, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. It, it's always nice to sort of gather up opinions and maybe we can do something about it and make it what it should be. Don't forget, like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. The dailies have basically stopped now. I'm not going to, if I do, I'm just causing myself work. And uh, don't forget, keep it lit. And, uh... If you can't keep it lit, don't worry, I'm not going to charge you 12 pounds. Hey, <laughs>